Let's take a look at how solid edge simulation can help engineers, designers avoid costly mistakes while reducing the number of real physical prototypes required to build a product. We're going to be focusing on the plow assembly that is being attached with this pivot arm, the blue piece, to a frame on a snow blowing machine. And we're concerned if this particular arm will be able to support that weight. So easily, because solid edge simulation is part of solid edge offering, it's a one single environment, we can easily isolate using display configurations um, the required parts for this particular study. And even further, to reduce processing time, we can get rid of irrelevant features on this particular part. We're talking about these small rounds. We can do that in one single step, as you can see. And then after we've done that, we can just tell the system to use this simplified version within the study. And we're ready to start simulation. Simulation is a very intuitive, user-friendly tool. We can perform different types of studies. So we can do linear static, normal modes, linear buckling, as well as steady state heat transfer with a combination of all of the above. Now that we started simulation, we can conveniently see all the elements of our study in the study navigator. Satellite simulation offers full complement of boundary conditions as well as loads. So let's start with applying force. We'll apply a load to the pin that connects plow to the arm. And while we're doing that, you can see that conveniently I can use the same steering wheel that I usually used in solid edge to manipulate geometry. Same st steering wheel is used to uh, define the direction for the force. Also, solid edge simulation is units neutral, so we can uh, type in pretty much any units and value and system will take it. From the loads panel, we can easily apply fixed constraints to couple pins that solid edge simulation needs to solve against when, when it's processing this study. And finally, because we're dealing with assembly, we want to make sure that solid edge simulation understands how all these components interact with each other. And that can be accomplished with uh, connectors. Mesh is quite powerful and easy to use uh, part of this simulation offering. User can adjust mesh coarseness. Uh, via the slider. Right now I'm going to go with the default one. And uh, you can see that solid edge simulation does a pretty good job uh, assigning denser mesh where required. And when I hit the button solve, what happens, uh, all the boundary conditions, all the loads assigned are taken to an ex Nestron, an industry proven solver, which will process this particular study and will bring results back into post processing window. We have uh, results popped in. And it's very important for user to be able to read this analysis results properly. That's why we have so powerful tools in post-processing window. So we can take a look at how it uh, performs under such stress by animating that. We can probe for different uh, stress. We can take a look at different representation of this particular model. But what I'm interested in, in factor of safety. And you can see we're in the vicinity of two. So if I further isolate by defining user define area, in the range between four and five. And when we assign that range, we can see that we still have a little bit of problem that we need to fix. We need to make it a little bit stronger because it's such important part. And uh, it's quite easy to do because again, we are one single integrated environment, solid edge simulation within solid edge. And right from the assembly level, I can adjust all the parameters required within the model. Let's say we wanna make those uh, ears a little bit thicker uh, maybe this cutout doesn't need to be that deep. We can adjust that again in the context of an assembly. And uh, also maybe we want to adjust or reinforce this ear right here. Make it slightly thicker. And finally, we want to beef up the part overall. So we want to make it thicker. Total part make it thicker maybe by 10 millimeters. So at this point, we're ready to reprocess that and all that is required, just hit solve. Solid edge simulation knows how to reapply mesh to new geometry, submit all the boundary conditions, even if we change them to an ex Nestron, and bring results back into post processing window again. And uh, now that we're looking at post processing results, and in particular, if we're looking at uh, the same factor of safety, if we define it uh, 
like we said before, between 4 and 5. Now we can see that we're pretty much green throughout the whole model. So that's the final goal. So you can see how solid edge simulation can be easily employed by designers to eliminate costly mistakes earlier in the design cycle and not being dependent on outside companies for analysis. That will reduce significantly time required to finish the project.